What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Got the old golf cart ripping again. I have Mr. Ah, uh, the pond. Uh, I'm worried about it flooding out. We'll head back there in one second. Uh, but you guys have been wanting some fishing content. And I went fishing with my buddy Jackson. He's been on the channel quite a bit in the past, but not for a very long time. Long story short, we fished his private sand pit somewhere that I've wanted to fish and hunt um, since I was a kid. Basically, it's private only, resident only. You have to live there to go on it or be invited, right? We went and smashed largemouth. Absolutely crushed him. So I'm gonna show you that first and then we're gonna get back to the pond where I wanna show you guys and I need your guys' tips. I wanna plant some corn and some sunflowers and a bunch of millet. I, uh, I ordered a ton of millet. But the lodge, Sand Hill Flyaway, we are booking guys. A lot of y'all have inquired on the website. Check out the bag boards custom made by one of you guys, a subscriber who came here and hunted as a client and gifted those to us. We have awesome clients. A lot of father sons from here, from YouTube that um, have been watching me forever, just like you guys right now. So if you're interested in coming and hunting with me, staying here three meals a day, three hunts, three days, yes. Go to sandhillflyways.com. It is always linked at the top of the description down below. Let's head back to the pond. When you hit that link, you guys will fill out the inquire to book form. That will send me a direct email with your information and your phone number, and I will be calling you personally. Serious inquirers only. We want people who want to kill them birds. Our hunts are amazing, and we have acquired a bunch of new leases, as y'all have been seeing. I have a bunch more to show you, but well, let's head back to the pond right after we do some fish. Oh, well, look at that beauty. I wanted to fish here, dude. For a long time. Finally made it happen. Are you lying to me here? No, look at that. Are you serious? Oh my God, Jackson. What? <laughs> That's not meant for that. You bought it with, so you just bought it this summer? No, in like November. Holy crap. I thought you were pulling my chain. No. How much horsepower does it have? I don't even know, but it scoots. Does it? Oh yeah. There's a sheet in there somewhere. It's a 5.3 with a really good sized turbo that's i mean that, that's a much. that's a pretty large turbo mm -hmm. <laughs> before we get fishing here look at the sleep dude that isn't the ultimate four-wheel drive dad wheels yes. dad wheels dad bond <laughs> oh my god you gotta take me for a ride sometime here and i'll take you for a ride in the rover yes holy um, we need to line them up, dude. That's an idea. Yeah, I have said it a bunch, but I bought a supercharged Rover a long time ago, and the absolute, it's an absolute Brutus. It, it says it's 575 horsepower, the, the Rover. Mm. I, man, this thing's got to be pushing well over five. I had a sheet somewhere that said all the, because when they tuned it, they like the records on it. Yeah. Holy oh, cow, this is a video in its own. <laughs> dang! Ah, dang. The flow is strong today on the boat. Yes. Gee, many Christmas. So this, uh, we got geese and ducks and everywhere, everywhere. One of the reasons why I wanted to fish this thing or hunt it, Jackson's been fishing, fishing and hunting this son of a gun his whole life. I'm lucky. Yeah, this is beautiful lake to live on. Small. It's an old sand pit, correct? Yes, an old shears pit. Gotcha. It is beautiful. It's deep, real deep. We're ready. Here we go. What are we gonna go after first? What do you want to throw? I'm probably gonna try a spinner bait. Spinner? 10-4 on that. What about a chatterbait? Would yes. that work? Chatterbait? Okay. Howdy, I'm not used to this. Just chilling on the back. This is nice. Mm-hmm. Land. Got one? Uh-oh, Jackson's on. Nice. Said his biggest bass out of here was a seven. What'd you say, a seven and a half? Yeah, I just had a big one following it. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, nice bass. There you go. Out of the bag. Dude, you know what we missed out on? What? Oh, he nailed it, dude. I watched it. 
Yeah, Co Wetzel and Snoop Dogg. Dude, that would have been sick. You got another one on? See, you got a touch for this. You got your boy out here struggling. Jeez, what a stud. That's a big whitey. Yeah, it is. Well, in the rock, that's nuts. I need to put on a big old spinner bait like you. There we go. Spinner bait, you're right. Oh, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. There we go. First one on the board. Yeah, where are the big boys? Yeah, we're looking for them big donkeys. Look at that, another little guy. Itty bitty guy. A beauty white. That's a slab muffin right there. That's a good eater right there. That's an eater. That's a way better fish. It's a white. Oh, it is? Yep. A big white. Dang! Come here, baby. Whoa, 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 easy. <laughs> Dang! Yeah, that's a white right there. Dude, that's an eater. Woo! There we go. Look at that beauty. Dad gum, son. He hit it like a champion. And they just died right when Yeah, he died. fought. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah. Oh, took my knob right on off. Yeah, it is. Yeah, pitching up in there and letting it fall. Hammers. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, oh that's a nice pass. Woo! Hello. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, dude. Nice slow rolling in these trees. Look at that guy. Yeah, what three? What three and a half for ish? Yeah, I'd say three and a half. <laughs> so in the last video, y'all see me do those burnouts. Well, with that big last rain, the burnouts turned to huge washouts. Huge. And that last video, I, I know that I showed you guys the pond then, but I didn't show you everything. And I didn't talk about everything. And since then, we've gotten more rain and a lot more. Remember uh, I was talking about the issues with having so much drainage come down this steep hill? Now look, look at these washouts. They're huge. I mean, we're in the golf cart here. We could, we're whipping it, but this could turn a Ugh. Going one of them on the old golf cart, you're gonna go for a tumble. Definitely uh, a few inches deeper than it was when I showed you guys a few days ago. And look at this, it hasn't rained for like almost two days. And that's so full, what it's doing, it is keeping all this just absolutely, completely saturated. And it's really good. Look at that, that is a good, good. I mean really good clay awesome clay so what that has me uh, thinking right here I've talked to you all before I've asked you guys before what I should do and I've really decided it's just muddy it holds water so well uh, what I've decided to do is I'm gonna plant some corn up here so see this goalie here let's wash out it's gonna roll up this this is what's gonna fill up first and then it's gonna expand out and so Gerald came over yesterday. I was like, what should I do? He was like, I think you should plant corn right here and let it flood up into it. I was like, yeah, but I just don't want it to flood so much that it washes it out. He's like, I don't think it will, especially if we kind of stay up off the pond a little bit. Drop a comment, please, 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 right here. Give me your comments. Uh, I want to plant um, either corn or sunflowers, maybe a, an arrangement of both down here in this bottom see this bottom area right here this is about a i would say 100 100 foot by 100 foot by 100 foot 150 by 100 so it's not huge but you can put a lot of crop right here and we already have really good signs those are fresh 
really fresh deer tracks. Uh, I seen a group of five teal uh, green wingers yesterday get off the pond. I saw two mallards two days ago get off the pond. This is a lot of water. This is uh, one of the biggest ponds, I would say within, oof, just guessing, I don't know, I, a couple miles radius, you know what I mean? So that's what I was aiming for. It's gonna be big enough to where it's gonna draw a lot of attention. And I'm really wanting to get that feed in here. I think this is just weeds. Don't believe that's anything in particular, but the rye, man, it's just staying so small and baby. I don't know what's going on with it. It just won't take off. I've seen a lot of other rye grass lately, and it's tall, really tall. Uh, wheat harvest is going to kick off here, I'd say, in two weeks. So we're getting close to uh, them pigeon hunts. Yes, when the wheat is off, the pigeon hunts start. But again, drop a comment down below, guys. Seriously, uh, like I told y'all when I built this pond, that it was going to be a five-year project. And um, if I plan it, I want to plan it once, and I want to plan it once every season with corn, sunflowers, and maybe go around more. Take maybe take up more property. I think I can uh, borrow Wade's planner. So let me know what should I do. What should I do? Because let me check out the weather here. So if it rains again, it's going to flood in, out into here. And I don't want to plan it before it, right before it does that. And then it floods before the, the seed has enough time to germinate or anything like that. So here we have no rain. I would say Saturday there's a chance, it says a 50% chance. And then next week there's a, good, there's a lot of good chances coming up. So I don't know if I could slip it in right now, plan a little bit, or if I should just wait until there's no rain in the forecast for a couple weeks. Tell me what I should do. I don't want to waste my money on seed, first off, you know, so let me know what I should do. Like I'm saying, we really don't have too far to go until it starts flooding. You know what I mean? So that's why I just don't know, look down here, if there's enough time right now to plant before it would just be washed out. I really want to get in the ground. I know that the corn, the sunflowers need to be planted now. It's almost too late. I don't know whether just to risk it for the biscuit or call it all off. Oh, we got to get something going other than the rye though because the pit blind, as a lot of you know, maybe you're new here, but we have a pit blind right there and uh, I want to use it. I really want to use it. We're already seeing birds show up on it. The larger the pond gets, so providing some food and vegetation up here would be key to having good hunts. This is an awesome area where, you know, an evening, uh, if you're a client here at Sand Hill Flyways during the waterfowl hunting season, at any point can, you could go sit in the pit blind over there, especially with a full like this. I'd leave literally a dozen floaters in there. You could throw them out and you could hunt. Whether you shoot a duck or 10 geese or who knows, it's something to do in the evenings because most of our hunts here at Sand Hill Flyway are morning hunts. I would say, I'd say 75% of our hunts in general are all AM hunts. But like I said, if you're interested in booking a hunt here in Central Kansas, here at Sand Hill Flyways at my lodge, with all the guys, with P. Diddy, with G-Wagon, Drew, Gage, Aaron, my wife, Bert, all of us, the whole gang, it is an absolute hoot. It is a Duck Camp Central and I am very proud of it. Remember, go to www.sandhillflyways.com, fill out the inquire to book form, and yours truly will be getting a hold of you. It does ask for your phone number on the form. Don't worry, that information does not go anywhere other, in, nowhere other than me, okay? I'm not doing anything with that info, that's just so I can call you directly and we can try to figure something out. But serious inquires only, uh, you can fill out that form if you're looking for prices and availability. And any group size is accepted, Any for, anywhere from two people 
to 13 people. It doesn't matter what you have. Bring your father, bring your uncle, bring your mom, bring your wife. Lots of husband wives coming this year. We even booked a bachelor party, so it's gonna be a hoot. I hope y'all can make it. Subscribe if you haven't, and remember, smash that notification bell. It'll notify when your boy uploads. But until next time. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the deep.